Grant Halverson, Getty Images Charlotte, North Carolina, August 17, Robert Quinn. Photo by Grant Halverson, Getty Images. The Dallas Cowboys might be receiving some pass rush help. NFL Network's Tom Palacero reports the team is in trade talks with the Miami Dolphins for defensive end Robert Quinn. Armando Salguero, writer for the Miami Herald, also reports that the New Orleans Saints have had trade talks with Miami about the defensive end. Quinn is under contract with the Dolphins for the 2019 season with a cap hit of $12.9 million. In an article published Monday, Saul Guerrero said the Dolphins are more than willing to sweeten the financial pot for other teams in exchange for draft resources they badly desire. Saul Guerrero also theorized what it'd take for a team to acquire the defensive end in a trade. I would not be surprised if they're successful trading Quinn, it will be for a 2020 pick. And they're willing to pay to make sure the pick is better than it might otherwise be. I would speculate, full disclosure, no sourcing here, the Dolphins would want to get a third-round pick for Quinn in 2020. It would make sense because the actual cash price will be mitigated by them for the new team, and draft picks in the future are typically acknowledged to be worth one round less than in the present. Read Sogaro's entire article on Quinn right here. In his career, Quinn has 69 sacks and 8 seasons between the Rams and Dolphins. He started all 16 games a season ago racking up 6.5 sacks, 38 total tackles, 15 QB hits and 2 forced fumbles. He was the St. Louis Rams' first-round pick 14th overall in the 2011 NFL Draft. The Cowboys could be looking to add a defensive end due to Randy Gregory's indefinite suspension for violating the NFL's substance abuse policy, his fourth suspension since joining Dallas as a second-round pick in 2015, a struggle with substance abuse and mental health kept Gregory off the field for all but two of 32 games for the 2016 and 2017 seasons after playing in 12 as a rookie. But he worked the league's substance abuse program, worked in practice and made his way back for 2018. Last season, Gregory was second to Demarcus Lawrence in sacks with six and quarterback pressures with 28. After his reinstatement to the league last July coming off a year-long suspension, Gregory was in Stage 3, the most advanced stage of the substance abuse program after repeated failed and missed drug tests warranted suspensions. The Dallas Morning News' John Machota tackled what Gregory's suspension means and how it affects Dallas off-season priorities here. More to come on this story.